Hey everyone, I'm Jeff from What Hero. In this short video, I'm going to introduce to you some of the main features of What Hero and how you use these features to generate uh, content. So when you first log in to What Hero, this is likely the first screen that you see, which is basically the home screen. And the home screen will display all the AI writing tools that are available right now and Currently, it's being categorized into business, marketing, social media, writing tools, and the rest under miscellaneous. And you can uh, access this home screen by clicking on the Word Hero logo in the top left corner. Now, the second screen that you see is basically what we call the editor mode. So when you click on editor in the top left, this is what you see. The editor mode is uh, usually for people who want to write longer form content um, like emails or uh, blog articles or uh, landing page content and so on. Uh, some people also use the editor mode as a collection of uh, ideas or just a placeholder where they can collect um, various content that they generated using uh, the AI. So there's really no restriction on what you can use it for. And the third page on the top left is uh, the history page where you can see everything that you generated uh, using the AI so far. So, um, and then on the top right corner, uh, you see two icons. The first is the one with the three lines. Uh, basically, you can access the home screen, the editor mode, the history page. Um, you can also access the help documents or the documentation. You can look at our Trello roadmap. This is our public roadmap for Word Hero. You can also uh, see the link to our Facebook group. And on the second icon here, this is a circle icon, where you can look at your profile. You can um, edit your email or password, your name, settings. Uh, and then you have billing as well as the logout link. So uh, let's take a slightly more in-depth look at each of these uh, screens. So when I click on the logo, it brings me to the home screen. Now basically, the uh, home screen is where I would recommend that you start exploring to see, uh, to have a better sense of uh, what are the writing tools that are available to you uh, in what hero. Um, so let me take a look at maybe Startup Elevator Pitch. Okay, so this tool is a writing tool to help you write an elevator pitch for your startup. And it may not necessarily be restricted to um, startups. So you can even use this for writing uh, your Facebook ad or even your website copy, right? As, as, as long as you need a, a pitch for your product or business. So um, I'm going to write a short description of what my startup or business is about. So I'm going to just follow the, um, the format that's given in the uh, example. I'm going to type in what hero, which is an AI content writing tool. So it's in bullet form. Um, take a look at the, uh, the instruction here. It, tell, it says uh, write what your startup is about, use bullet points or short sentences. So this is what I should follow if I want the output to be uh, correct. And then I'll click on write for me. And then it takes a few seconds. And this is what the AI comes, comes up with. What if you can have someone else write your content for you? What here is the AI content writing tool. It helps people get articles, blog posts, and more written for them without all the heavy lifting of sitting there and typing out words. Okay. And then you can rate this output. So if I like this up, I'll just uh, click on good. And then uh, there's a back button. You can click on this to go back. If you want to generate uh, more, uh, you can always edit your input and click on write for me again. Okay. Uh, if you want to go back to the result, just click on the uh, result button on the uh, bottom right. Okay. So if you generate a new one, the, the, the result will be gone and then a new result will take its place. So, um, how do I use this result? So I can click on the output and then you, you see a copied word here. 
Um, basically, once I click on the output, um, this output would be copied to my clipboard. And then I can use this uh, wherever I want. Okay. Um, so that's it for the uh, home screen. And then if you scroll down below, you can see a list of all the writing tools that are available. Okay. So you, so you can navigate to any of these tools uh, very quickly. Now, let's take a look at the editor mode. On the top left, I'll click on editor. So this is the editor mode. Uh, some of the features of this editor mode. On the left, you'll find a list of all the writing tools. Okay, so if you're familiar with the writing tools, like uh, basically you don't need any more introduction of these. Um, so how do I navigate this? You can either scroll down to look for the tool that you want, or you can just type in the search box. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to look for email tools. I just type email. So we have all the tools that are related to emails here. Okay, and if there is a tool that I uh, use again and again, I can always pin the tool to the top so that uh, it would be very easy for me uh, to find it in future. So let's say if I always use generic emails, I can just click on the pin here, and then you pin to the top. Okay, so I click on this clear to clear the search box. Okay, so you see the generic tools is now being pinned to the top. I have a whole bunch of tools that I pinned as well. And uh, basically, what you will remember what you pin. And in future, even if you relaunch the app, um, the, the, the pin tools will always be there. So in the middle is basically where you uh, type in your, um, your title and the content of your document. And on the right side, you see a word count here, as well as some buttons for uh, creating a new document, opening the document, saving, uh, deleting the current document, as well as there is a link to our Facebook group. Okay, so let us try something and see how the uh, editor mode works. So let's try the generic emails. I'll just click on generic emails. So this is pretty similar to um, the earlier screen that we saw. So you have to answer a couple of questions. Um, for the AI to generate the content. So for generic emails, there are two fields that you need to input. First is the recipient, who you're sending the email to. And second is a short description of what the email is about. Okay, so I'm gonna type in um, the exact same uh, example here. Why SEO is important for small businesses reply to this email for a free consultation. Okay, so um, it's best to be as specific as possible in your inputs so that the AI will actually understand uh, what exactly you want because the AI cannot read your mind. So you do have to be a little bit more explicit in uh, telling the AI, what kind of output that you want. Okay, so if you want to call the action, then I'll just put a reply to this email for a free consultation. And I'm going to click on write for me. It takes a few seconds uh, for the AI to generate the content, so please be a little bit patient. So for emails, um, it will generate two variations for you up to two generate uh, two variations so um, as usual if you want to copy to the clipboard all you need to do is to click on the output itself and you see a copy here that means it's copied to the clipboard so if you want to paste it to the right hand side you just click on the right hand side and type in uh, control V or command V for Mac okay this is another way you can copy it to the right which is if you hover over the output you see an arrow button here, and you can click on that so that you actually append it to the right. Okay, so two ways of copy and pasting to the editor. Actually, three ways. Uh, there's an all here, there's an all button here you, where you can click and you will um, copy and paste uh, all the variations to the right. 
Okay, so basically, uh, once I decide which one I want, I can just edit everything here. I can put in a title just so I can remember what document this is. Email, email to SEO prospects, for example. So there is a uh, auto save enable. So you don't really need to save it, but if you want to be sure, just click on save. And if you want to open it in future, just click on open and you'll be able to find, find it here. Okay. Uh, if you want to create a new document, this stuff from scratch, you click on create a new document. Yep. So that's really it for the editor mode. Now let's look at the history page. Um, for the history page, uh, it's pretty standard. All you need to do is to click on the result and then so whatever you generated before, it will display here. Um, you can even filter by the content type. So you want to look at all the emails that, uh, that you generated. You can sort by date as well. So uh, that's it for a very brief introduction to some of the main features of Word Hero. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.